I sit and watch the mountain. Engulfed in light loneliness, primitive trepidation, all clarity and wonder. Wondering who would hear this barefoot verse and find solace. This magnum song from the rocks. The mountain horizon like a voice, singing unbroken down to the water. Shuffling my cold feet, feeling out the morning, wondering who would hear this barefoot verse and find solace, this magnum song from the rocks. The mountain horizon like a voice, singing unbroken down to the water. Twas early one fine morning When all the flowers were springing old and nature was adorning and the birds were sweetly singing oh i met my love near banbridge town my bonny blue eyed sally oh she's the queen of the county down the flower of Maharali, oh, with admiration I did gaze upon this fair maiden, oh, and Adam wasn't half so pleased as when he met Eve in Eden, oh. Her skin was like the lily white flowers that grow in yonder valley. Oh, she's the queen of my heart's delight, the flower of Maharali. Oh, I hope and pray the day will come when we'll join hands together. Oh, is then I'll bring my true love home. In spite of wind or weather, oh, and let them all say what they will, and let them reel and rally, oh. For I will wed the one I love, the flower of Maharali, oh, oh, and let them all say what they will, and let them reel and rally, oh, oh. for I will wed the one I love, the flower of Maharali, oh, oh, the flower of Marali I see a few virtual snaps and jazz hands out there. Thanks very much. And good afternoon. I bid you good morning, Vancouver. And a spiritual morning wherever you're watching from. What a joy to be here with you as the day is very short here in Ireland. It's just getting dark, but such a joy to, to uh, welcome you into the day there in Vancouver. I offered you a poem of mine, a morning poem uh, of uh, radical recognition of the loneliness we feel, the barefoot verse. We're all reciting in our hearts as we get out of bed, <laughs> wondering who would 
hear anything out of our mouths, let alone find solace in our barefoot verse. So it's beautiful to offer that to you as you as you wipe the sleep from your eyes. And, and then a traditional Irish song called The Flower of Maharali from the North of Ireland. And so many songs uh, in Ireland begin with one pleasant morning, you know, as I roved out one morning. It's actually a whole genre as I roved out. And uh, it's, well, it's, you know, so many, but we have a, a, a certain genre of radical morning songs, but we have a, a, a whole trove of radical nighttime songs, which I'm sure many of you may be familiar with, but I, I'll try to spare you with that from, from the radical nighttime songs. There'll be, there will be time enough for that. And uh, the poem I shared with you is from a collection of poetry that I just launched actually two weeks ago called Early Music. It's a little, little small little book. And uh, it's such a, a new departure for myself creatively, uh, a radical new departure into the world of poetic recitation. And this next poem as well is about creating. I was surprised with the collection pleasantly surprised, as the best surprises are pleasant, uh, about how prayerful actually the collection turned out to be. Uh, I didn't expect it to be so serious actually, and I found the radical departure into poetry for me and recognizing that voice actually was asking me to take myself a little bit more seriously actually. So the radical step I'm taking creatively is to take myself a little bit more seriously, of course. Now that's counterintuitive because so many of us are wrapped up in taking ourselves less seriously. But, uh, you know, we all have our crosses to bear, you know, so. Me being, you know, an Irishman, I'm, I'm very good at shoehorning in all sorts of off-color jokes into all sorts of uh, Zoom calls mainly these days. But, uh, but I, find, um, I find it heartening that I'm maturing into a spiritual being and you have taken a radical step even being here. So this actually is a elegy to a little interfaith prayer space actually there on Whidbey Island where David will be speaking to you from. I'm lucky enough to have met David around a decade ago and uh, have a huge amount of admiration for him and the art form, the radical presentation of his art form. This is called Chinook Sanctuary. Having descended into silence, I face a wooden structure. The sanctuary breathes before me. So I enter with rain on my skin. Completely empty, it welcomes the emptiness in me, called to prayer, the easy prayer of simple breathing. This is how a church should be. The joining of warm wood together, making walls invisible, calling us to join in, not leave behind the life outside the door. A church vulnerable to fire and water, a prayer vessel floating in the forest. Mesmerized by amber tree lines ringing around me, I knew courageous prayers are said in places like this, with wood, not stone listening. I knew utter joy sweeps through places like these. A shelter, not an escape, unfettered by damp rock and twisted metal, hidden behind stained glass lead lined, but a living, breathing, wild church for wild prayers. And though the air is still, a silent gale rose through this singing space, this silent cathedral among the moss. My skin thirsts again for rain, my soul a falling acorn, a hazelnut floating Grant yourself refuge here. Grasp these sacred seconds and call your soul your own. Mm. 
mesmerized by amber tree lines ringing around us, I knew courageous prayers are said in places like these. With wood, not stone, listening, I knew utter joy sweeps through places like this, a shelter, not an escape, unfettered by damp rock and twisted metal, hidden behind stained glass, lead line, but a living, breathing wild church for wild prayers. And though the air is still, a silent gale rose through this singing space, this silent cathedral among the moss, my skin thirsts again for rain, my soul a falling acorn, a hazelnut floating. Grant yourself refuge here, grasp these sacred seconds and call your soul your own. So the radical act of self-recognition in all of our serious and real undertones. Joyful. Joyful in its intensity. Mark mentioned that I work with my mother, Noreen Nereen, who is an interfaith minister here in Ireland and uh, is busy marrying uh, couples all over. She's very in demand for as a wedding celebrant and, uh, and a ritual scholar. She's a theologian and singer. And uh, it's been a real joy to inherit so much Irish language, lamentational chant actually from her. We call it the Shan Nos tradition, the, the old style Irish Shan Nos tradition. And I'd like to sing a little bit of that for you now, something in the Irish language. Uh, I'm speaking to you from my home in County Clare on the banks of the River Shannon in a little, little village called Killaloo, which used to be the capital of Ireland, this small little village around a thousand years ago. So, and it is very, very beautiful. Still the capital in many people's minds. So, uh, this is a, a, a sacred uh, Irish language lamentation. And I'll go into another poem after that. And, uh, then we'll be getting near the end of it, I'd say. So we'll hurry it up. Thanks for listening and good morning once again. This is called Alleluia O Isa. Shocked no Ross na Biden Bura. Alleluia O Isa. Alleluia to my Alleluia, so story gal no glass. Alleluia, so Alleluia, to my love. Alleluia, so. Story gal no glass. Am ked no last of ira vaidan, oratorio chalano. Kapini tu vers na yudigo grado. Alleluia. Alleluia to my love, Alleluia, O Jesus, to regal no glass, to regal no glass. For oftentimes the step backward allows the soul catch up so that all our happy hindsights harmonize and wisdom builds. Share your luck, be miserly only with misfortune, for in each seismic shudder we learn to trust the ground again, humble again, knowingly broken, unrepentedly wounded, proud to bear pain, laying claim to the joy factory of your body. No more tariffs or sanctions, Wage cuts or glass ceilings, conventions, expenses paid, nor lanyards and company position. This way you can live in ways others simply will not. 
develop sides of yourself others simply would not. So feel the rhythm beyond the beat. Begin with a break and let your soul catch up. For oftentimes the step backward allows the soul catch up. So that all our happy hindsights harmonize and wisdom builds and share your luck and be miserly only with misfortune. For in each seismic shudder we learn to trust the ground again. Humble again, knowingly broken, unrepentedly wounded, proud to bear pain, laying claim to the joy factory of your body. No more tariffs or sanctions. Wage cuts and glass ceilings, conventions, expenses paid, nor lanyards and company position. This way we can live in ways others simply will not develop sides of ourselves others simply would not so feel a rhythm beyond a beat begin with the break and let your soul catch up 